tonight is a blind date for charity which I'm doing. I think my favourite bit is going to be you will recognise me because I will bring my cereal when I wake up in your bed tomorrow. I'm so sexy. Go and try and find this girl. I'll let you know how it goes. The blind date was fun. A lot of Queen's second years got paired with a lot of first years from Pembroke, so it turned out that lots of people knew lots of other people. It was all for charity. Definitely worth doing, but now I'm really tired. This box, I'm intrigued to know what it's for. It's just a button on a pole to presumably call somebody. Got a makeshift sandbag for my tripod with a a bottle of wine, a bottle of Carlsberg, and two tins of baked beans in her Sainsbury's carrier bag. It's the first day of week five today, which means I'm now officially halfway through my degree. A bit scary. So it might make sense to do that. Um, so, uh... Today's the first day of week five. Tonight we find out if we won the Entrepreneurship Society competition and if we have, we win a thousand pounds. Basically there's an Entrepreneur Society in Cambridge and every year they have a few competitions where you can submit your idea for a business and win money and mentoring and maybe an investment to help you make something of your idea. So me and a few friends who are also Comskis at Cambridge entered this competition with our idea and I can't tell you much about it yet except that it's going to be a location based social network and if you're interested you can sign up for our beta program by going to jakewright.net slash beta and we will contact you hopefully within the next few months with more exciting information about that. So we didn't win, very disappointing, but there are more competitions that were vented. So hopefully we'll get somewhere with one of those other ones. So the judges didn't like our idea, but you might, and we still think it's a good idea, so I recommend you go and sign up for that beta. We've got two new courses today, Distributed Systems and Security 1, which suggests there's going to be a Security 2. We've got the second meeting with our group project client today. I don't know where my group is though, and we're meeting the client in five minutes. Our client meeting is over, it went quite well. I'm gonna get, try to get back to Queens before it rains again now though. It was pouring down earlier, and the sky's not looking great. Look at the first years doing their physics practical on a Friday afternoon. I can go home now. I say home, of course I mean college. I should probably stop trying to vlog while I cycle. I'm gonna smash my phone. Or crash, but I'm not sure which is worse. This is the windiest I've ever seen in Cambridge. It's like half past one now. Because I've been on a date tonight. Not really sure how it went, but I'm on the Queens now. And it is so cold. Sounds like they've started digging up the foundations of this building for the water pipe leak fix thing, whatever they're trying to do. I bet that's going to be irritating. I'm having leftover pizza from last night for lunch today. It's pretty nice. It's half six now. I've been working on this networking work since earlier this morning. Nearly finished, but now we're going to go for dinner. And I think we're going to go to Spoons again. I know we've been there quite a lot lately, but it's quite nice. Another miserable day in terms of weather today. I'll not talk for long because it is raining. I've got one lecture now which I'm missing because I slept in. Then I've got a meeting with my group project group. Then another lecture which I'll make this time. That's from 12 till 1. Then I've got a supervision at 2 irritating me back at Queen's so I have to get back there pretty quickly. So just in case you're wondering how this works, second year lectures are technically not optional. We are meant to go to all of them. But at the same time, we're adults and we're paying for our education and we're allowed to consume this education in any way that we choose. So 
we can miss lectures if we want to, it's up to us, nobody checks if we're there or not. I think generally 50 to 60 people turn up to each lecture out of the 80 people in the year. First year computer science is pretty much the same, you're expected to go to every lecture but nobody will complain if you don't go because at the end of the day it is your decision. For third year you're not expected to go to every lecture because there are too many. Uh, you're expected to choose some of the modules that you want to do and there's no formal way to to like decide which ones you're going to take in the exam, you just don't turn up to some of the lectures. Everybody sits the same papers at the end of the third year for the exams. Uh, then you get a choice with which questions you answer and you just pick the ones that you went to the lectures for. I've managed to buy the smallest loaf of bread ever. I think I might need to make two sandwiches today. I bought some really cheap iPad mini screen protectors. It doesn't even have an iPad on the front. I needed some matte screen protectors because I'm making some tutorial videos uh, for an app for someone else and I need to video the iPad and I don't want reflections. These have royal quality. Optical material retains the true colour of the screen. High transparent. I mean, awful packaging, but they look okay. And it was like £1.78 for three of them. So even if they're really bad, I'm not complaining. As long as they don't damage the iPad at all, that would be pretty bad. Our supervisor got mixed up with their supervision times, which means we now have to wait around for an extra hour. Either that, or the supervision's got rescheduled and we didn't get told. Tonight, Queen's is doing Take Me Out, a copy of the ITV show for charity. Events like this happen at every college, I imagine, not just Queen's. But it's kind of hard to know what's going to be going on within a college when you're choosing one to apply to. Now, I can show you the, the things that happen at Queen's, but unfortunately, I don't know too much about the events like this at other colleges. And I see the college system as being both good and bad in this respect. The advantage is that you can have these small events that are organised within a college. They don't need to be university-wide. And you can get together with the other people in your college and have fun at something like this and maybe raise money for charity like we did. The disadvantage is that the events are much smaller and lower budget because it's like taking a, a huge event at a, a big university without colleges and then splitting it up into 30 smaller ones. And you can't really know whether the college you're applying to is going to do stuff like this uh, when you get there. So there's a bit of luck involved as well. But in general, I think every college will do fun things like this quite regularly. So don't worry too much about it when you're applying. Order supply to Queens. Thanks for watching. Time for another trip to Docket in the rain. At least there are showers available. They're just a five minute walk away.